It was an all the magazines. Naturally, they'd be very strong willed and ruthless, wouldn't they? Heartless, really. Leonora, I never thought of that. Pounding, hammering, driving nails with poor horses' feet all day, twisted white hot iron into strange shapes. Well, that's all I meant. Goodness. But Leonora, what should we do about it? The only thing for us to do is to know it and to keep our hopes about us. To think that I never, never thought of that before. Of course, there are some nice Smiths. But the principal of my boy's school is named Smith. He seems perfectly nice. Oh, I don't deny it. But listen, a nice Smith is still a Smith. You keep your eyes open too, you'll see. Take another example. Come here, dear, we can talk so well. Take that woman who sings on the radio. Rose Smith, or Bessie Smith. What's her name? Why, I always thought she was so nice and wholesome, so to speak. Yes, but look at how famous she is. To arrive in a position like that, one must be very strong-willed. Believe me. What? Do you realize Al Smith almost became president of the United States? But Leonora, the principal of my Williams School is named Smith. Now you're beginning to misunderstand. There are lots of perfectly nice Smiths. Oh dear, I'm almost sorry you told me all this. It's so upsetting, really. One doesn't know what to do or to think these days. Ah, the answer to that is this. Don't try to think. Trust that instinct of yours. No, you know. Keep your eyes open. You'll see the Smiths behaving in very Smithy ways wherever you look. Oh, I just thought of it. Who could have been nicer than Dr. Buckingham Smith? Oh, yes. The one who was so kind to your mother all through her illness. He was an angel, a perfect angel. Oh, Leonora, it's so hard to... I mean, it's really hard. Of course. It's easiest just to distrust them all. Do you know something? I never really did like that school. Oh, Belinda, you've always been very enthusiastic about it. No. From the moment I saw it, I knew it wasn't right. But William, he admires this Mr. This Mr. Blacksmith. <laughs> Smith, dear Smith. Whatever you call him. William admires him, but of course, William's a mere child. Children know sense of these things. I'll speak to Wallace about it tonight. About what, Linda? Why, about taking William out of that dreadful place, of course. I'll speak to him about it this very night. Oh, there you are, Leonor. May I bring you ladies some tea? No, I think we've had some. All right, but I'd like you to meet my sister-in-law, Belinda Watson. Happy to meet you, Mrs. Watson. I'll be back in one minute. Why, who's that? He seems very nice man. That's a friend of my husband's. That's our friend. Uh, I'm surprised you don't know him. That's Arthur's smile. Smile? What? How do you spell it? S M Y T H E. Why? Leonora, that's the same as Smith, isn't it? Oh, that's all right. Everybody loves Arthur. I'm glad you're going to meet him. Do you think it wise, dear? Really, I'd rather not. Now, Belinda, you're getting hysterical. Arthur's an exceptional person. Wonderful war record. Besides, he's the best citizen in this town. Your own husband says so. He should get all the credit for the new hospital life. But, dear, he's one of the Smiths. Thank you. 
just after Christmas. He could go with my son and Jim down to my mother's house in Florida. Even for a moment, shaken in their good opinion. 